Hello everyone, FunshineX here, and this is the ComputerCraft tutorial series, uh, episode 3. In the previous episodes, we made a uh, master door unlock uh, program, and also we uh, lock, made a program to lock and unlock the door with a password, and also to turn on lights uh, on and off. Um, this episode, I want to explore a little bit with the disk drive and how to write your programs, save them onto a floppy disk, and then you can put them onto other computers or even copy them onto Turtles so that they can do your run your programs in the world. Uh, so that's the objective today. This uh, house looks pretty much done, so let's go out here into the world. So I need to open my door again here. And uh, let's look around the rest of the town, find a good house to start building with floppy drives. All these are pretty small houses, don't have a lot of extra room. And, oh, what's this house? This one looks a lot different than the rest. Oh, it's got nice lighting. Oh, I'm liking this house. This, I've, I've never seen this in a village. Is this your house, Mr. Man? Yeah, he seems to like this house. Okay. Oh, this sounds cool. Let's let's build our uh, our little uh, disk drive setup right here. So we're gonna put a computer down and our disk drive. And uh, we need to get a floppy. I'm gonna get a new one because I've already been writing on that one. And we'll get this floppy disk here. Okay, so you can put the floppy in the disk drive. The green light will come up, and then if you come in here and get a directory listing, you'll see a disk and a ROM. And if we take this out of here, you'll see you just have the ROM. So that's like the onboard um, hard drive in there. So let's put the disk back in there. And we can go down to the disk level and see that there's nothing on it right now. And so let's edit a program. Okay, we'll call it the floppy test program. We'll print floppy to, oops, get some quotes around here. Having typing issues here. Yeah, try again. Print this floppy to save that and exit. And you can see we can run uh, our floppy test. Oops, we did something wrong. Lowercase. This is floppy too. Okay, so now we can take that floppy out of here. Let's bring it over here. Put the floppy in. And see if it runs. This is floppy too. Okay, so now we know that the, um, the floppy disk can be transferred from between computers. Let's get another floppy. And put that one in there. Well, let's try running floppy test. No such program. So what happened? Well, each floppy disk has its original, its own uh, storage, um, and that's on your computer. And you can find that if you go to um, your dot Minecraft saves folder, the name of your save, then go to computer disk, and you'll see a folder for every flop you've created. So the first one is the one I was testing with. Two. Here's our floppy test program. Three will be blank. Okay, so that's why floppy test is not a disk there. So you can also just come in here and uh, run this. And you'll see that here's our program, and I'm just in the text editor. And this is a lot easier to, to edit in because you can you know, select, you can do a ton of stuff. So I now edit everything in a text editor, not in the actual interface of ComputerCraft. Uh, that's very helpful for you. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is um, a, a startup program to make like a boot disk for a computer. And to do that, all you have to do is create a new text file and let's call it startup. It has to be called startup or it just won't work. And you see this created a text document. I've got to do something really quick. Uh, uncheck hide the extensions because these <coughs> programs can't have extensions on them or they don't work. 
Okay, so now we can edit startup again. Okay, so what do we want to do? Well, we want to take um, if this program that we're going to write, which is floppy test, is already on the other computer, we need to delete it. So we do that by fs delete. I'm going to delete floppy test because otherwise it'll say it already exists. Okay. Then we want to do an fs dot uh, copy, I believe it is. It might be a move. Let's try copy. Hold on, let me pause and just make sure I get it right. Okay, so I had it right, just the, uh, the again, case is, is sensitive. So we're going to copy from the disk floppy test. And then the next location is where we want to copy it to. So let's just copy it to the root of our computer and just call it floppy test again. Okay, and then we have a really cool thing we can do. We're going to do a shell command. And that just is called run. And then we're going to run our program. Okay, so let's save that guy there. Now when I hit save here, it's gone back into my hard drive and it's already updated in Minecraft on that floppy disk. So let's go back to Minecraft and let's check our disk. Disk 2 was in this guy, right? Can't really tell, but uh, let's come to the computer and edit floppy, uh, start, or that's, I don't know what we'll do. Let's get a direct listing. See, there's two programs on here. Edit startup. And here is the program I just wrote outside of Minecraft appears in here. So all you have to do is edit it in the text editor, save it, it'll be in computer craft. Really cool stuff. Okay, so now we know that's in there. So let's exit here. And how do we get this to run? Well, all I have to do is reboot my machine. This is floppy too. Isn't that awesome? So what it did is the computer rebooted and whenever computer craft computer boots up, it will check to see if it has a uh, disk drive attached to the computer on any side except the front. And if it does, it will look on that disk and see if there's a program called startup. If there is, it will run that program. Really cool. So um, we could do things like uh, on that lock program, every time it reboots, it would run the uh, the open door and just wait for our password. Okay, um, so nothing there, nothing there. Okay, the next thing we want to do, we know how to write to a floppy copy between disk drives, we know how to edit a startup boot disk, and the next thing we want to do is how do we write a program for a turtle. You'll notice a turtle has turtle OS, and you can edit programs on here. No problem. I mean, it's fine. Right? Okay, but what happens when you delete this guy? Well, that instance of that turtle is now gone. So if you place another one, it's gone. So I don't advise editing programs directly on a turtle because if you actually break that turtle, it's gone. Instead, you want to write the programs on a floppy and then put a drive down next to the turtle, just like the computer, and let's take floppy disk here and put it in there. And what do we do? We reboot. Goodbye. This is floppy too. So the turtle also does the same thing. It looks for a disk drive on any side. If it finds one, it looks for a program called startup on the floppy and runs that program. So that's really cool. So now we can go into a text editor, write the program or the files, the programs for our turtle, put it on a, a disk drive and then just automatically load it up. Whenever we need to, if we uh, go out and make changes and we save it, come back, all we have to do is reboot the turtle and when he starts up again he will run the program. So that's the only thing. The last thing I want to do is be able to put a label on my floppy disk because now I have floppy disk 1, floppy disk 2, and floppy disk over 3 and I don't remember what's on what so we're gonna put a label on there. Be right back. Alright and of course it did start to rain so let's 
turn our sound off because I do not have any I uh, version in issue. Tell computer craft is one two five. Hopefully that will be soon. Um, so anyway, we we're talking about how to label a floppy drive so it's not just saying floppy disk. Come into your OS of either a computer or a turtle, and all you have to do is type label and let's see what the options are. You can get get or set the label, and what that does is that's referring to the computer or the turtle itself. So if I do label set turtle, this this guy is now known as turtle. If I break him, you'll see that he does not stack with the rest. Okay. That's important because now if there was a program on him, he would it would stay on the program because I can always just place him back. So definitely label your turtles if you uh, want to keep them, what's on them. Okay, I'm going to put down this guy again. We can clear label. <clears throat> or we can, um, you can see set and drive. So to do that, you don't say what drive, you say what location. So this was to the left of our turtle. So we want to set left. Floppy 2. And dislabel set to floppy 2. I guess we didn't need quotes because it looks like it quotes around it. Yeah, so let's do that again. There we go. So it's just floppy 2 now. And that will not, if I take it out, it won't stack with this other floppy disk. It makes a separate instance of it. So that's really cool. Um, Alright, so I'm really not sure how this little house appeared here. I think it's a really nice looking house because there's plenty of room to play with computer crafts. So I guess we'll just stick with this one for now and, and say thanks to the villagers for building it for us. Um, short video, but I've accomplished uh, what I wanted to show you guys. It's how to use disk drives, floppies, and copying programs from a floppy to a turtle. All right, so on our next series, to give you a little tease, we're going to be playing with turtles and all the nifty things they can do. If you go over to the ComputerCraft wiki, not that guy, let's go to the wiki, uh, you can see all the things the turtle, uh, you, you can give commands to the turtles. You can make them go forward, back, up, and down, turn left and right, uh, select a different slot number, uh, check how many items are in there, if there's space left. You can dig in front, up, or down, place in front, up, or down, detect if there's a block there in front of him or above him or below him and you can also compare what's in his inventory to what's in front of him uh, up or below or he could drop off items you could use this one with maybe a like an obsidian pipe or a transposer uh, turtle mines a bunch of stuff goes to a specified location drops everything he has into the transposer puts it in the inventory sorts for you so these can be used as auto miners they can also be used as lumberjacks if you make him go chop down a tree and bring the wood back. Uh, you can make him do all kinds of things. So we're going to play around with turtles. It's going to be a lot of fun. Come back for episode four. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll talk to you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.